Okay, today we're going to talk about Bardic Spell number six, Run for Your Life. <clears throat> this is a fairly simple spell. And the concept of the spell is that uh, it should induce unyielding terror in uh, the bards, whoever the bards are interested in getting to run, and it could actually overflow into other people because the, the spell is kind of uh, uh, a little bit uh, primitive. So. In addition to causing the bard's enemies to run away, it may also accidentally cause the bard's friends to run away as well. So, uh, it's a very simple spell. Bardic spell number six, run for your life. You better run for your life if you can. It's the time and place to make a stand. You better run for your life. Run for your life. Run for your life if you can. Okay, so uh, we'll do a quick uh, lesson on how to how to play Run for Your Life. Um, starts on an A minor, which on the mandolin the A minor is uh, the open E string. The G and D are barred at the second fret, and you play the third fret on the A string. Then this is one of my favorite chords on the on the mandolin, just because it sounds cool. It's a D four nine. Um, basically, it's like a C chord. Uh, only you move it up so that it would be a D chord if you were to bar it. That would be a D bar chord. But we're just going to play the uh, fourth fret on the D string and the fifth fret on the uh, on the A string and leave the E, G, e string open so E would be the ninth of the D chord and we're going to leave the G string open that would be the fourth of the G of the D chord so that makes it a D49. And it's and it's just got a nice open sound to it, uh, almost like it's in Mixolydian. So we get an A minor, D49, and then back to an E minor, which would be a, um, a E minor on the uh, mandolin. Looks exactly the same as it does on a guitar. It's uh, the open E, the open G, and bar the D, uh, bar the second fret on the D and A strings. It just repeats that. For a G chord, remember that an F chord looks like this. A G chord looks like that, but it can also look like this. And this is the G chord I'm going to use here, um, which will be the fourth fret on the G string, the fifth fret barred on the D and A strings, and I'm going to mute the E string. So, and the reason I use that particular version is just because it kind of builds nicely from the D49. So there's the G chord there. And then I go A minor, E minor, A minor. And that's really just about all there is to the song, short of the of the melody being replayed. And in this case, the melody is replayed several times. So And it's played tremolo, so um, you know, just running the pick back and forth across the string like that. When you play tremolo, uh, you want to have the the pick almost perpendicular to the string. Instead of trying to do it this way, you want to have it kind of pointed like that. So, and it'll start with the open A string, open A uh, to the third fret on the A, open A. To the third fret on the A. Do that again. The 
fifth fret on the A, and then the open A. I'm sorry, then the fifth fret on the D string. And you do that three times. So you go back and forth from the third fret to the fifth fret on the A string. Then you go to the second fret of the of the A string. Then three, two, one, or three, two, open rather. Very quickly. So now I'm going to do that uh, slowly so that you can follow it. Uh, this particular park has a very large clock in it that goes off every 15 minutes. And I think it's exactly on the hour, so it's going to give us a lot of bongs while we're doing this. But you should hear the mandolin clearly over the clock. So. After the third first, you do that a third time, and then you hit it with a uh, the, the the spell tag, which I put on the end of every bard every bardic spell. And the idea of the spell tag is the spell tag sets the spell, so that as long as the spell is played correctly and the spell tag is set, that spell tag will will set the spell so that it'll stay with the people who are being uh, who are being uh, uh, influenced by the spell. And the spell tag is just simply a C chord. So that's the uh, third fret of the A string, the second fret of the D string, with the E and the G strings open. And you just play them down and follow it with the fifth fret of the G string. So about that speed. Run for your lives! So, uh, run away! <laughs> uh, you, know, you can do that at the, at the end of the spell as well. So that should give you everything you need for Bardic Spell number six. That is all of the Bardic Spells I've written. I've written one, two, three, and six. So I've got ideas, or, or rather I've got titles for the other spells through nine, uh, for a total of nine Bardic Spells. Let's see what the titles are. Um, of course, Bardic Spell number one is Ignore Us. Uh, and that actually came up during a game, which is why it's the first one that I wrote, because part of that was written back in the 20th century when I was a dungeon master. Bardic spell number two is Trust Me. Bardic spell number three is Let's You and Him Fight, or Let's You and Them Fight, or Let's You and Her Fight, uh, depending on which pronoun you choose. Uh, Bardic spell number four is actually designed to uh, calm a person down. It's called Don't Be an Asshole. Uh, I haven't written that one yet. Uh, Bardic spell number five is, do you smell that? And the idea is to distract people by getting them to pay attention to something that they're smelling, to something that they're smelling, so that the bard and his party can leave quietly while they're trying to figure out what it is that they're smelling. Bardic spell number six, this is Run For Your Life, that's the one we just did. Bardic spell number seven, Chains of Love, so that's supposed to be a love song. Uh, Bardic spell number eight, get back into the fight. Uh, which is to encourage the Bard's own party members. That's all of the titles that I've written down for Bardic Spells, so I've written titles for eight of them. So anyway, uh, if you're enjoying this, or if you have any ideas for your own Bardic Spells, let me know if you want to use the song. Uh, I, I hope that you will give me credit for it, and if you want to uh, use the song in some sort of a way that you profit from it, reach out to me and we will come to an arrangement.